four leaf clovers, leprechauns, and lucky loos were all found in downtown Erie this afternoon as the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade took place. Jade Leah Burns joins us in our studio with more. Jade. Brianna, it's that time of year again, and going through the crowd, it was evident that people wanted to share good luck and honor one of Ireland's patron saints. It was a sea of green along State Street Saturday as the St. Patrick's Day Parade kicked off. A whole hour and 15 minutes was dedicated to dancing, cheering, and candy throwing to celebrate Irish heritage. The Erie Downtown Partnership was expecting several thousand to come to downtown Erie, and the crowds did not disappoint. This is the largest parade that we've had in several years, definitely since we've come back from COVID. It's a great way to see so much of what the community has to offer. According to Tammy Lonis, weather has played a huge factor in the past. Two years ago was our first year organizing, and we actually had to move the parade. Uh, to another week because of a snowstorm and it was still really cold. Last year was cold. Some spectators were so enthusiastic that they decided to wake up before the sun rose. We started very early this morning. I woke up at 6.30. We're just celebrating St. Patrick. One parade goer has been looking forward to this weekend not only for the festivities but for her birthday also. It's just like a good day to get together. I mean all of us. I have three other siblings and then all my besties. Um, <laughs> We get together all the time. As for the birthday girl and her besties, they will continue their tradition all weekend long. You can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Yay! Cheers! <laughs> Myself and others of our very own Jet 24 on air crew also made an appearance in the parade. Brianna. Jaylea Burns live in our studio tonight. Thank you, Jade.